Hey y'all, welcome back to Let's Play East 2. Last time we got through the Ice Ridge of Noltea, the worst dungeon in the game. And this time, we shall start the Moat of Burn Bless, the best dungeon in the game. <laughs> this place is, without a doubt, the exact opposite of the Ice Ridge of Noltea. Adolf felt as if someone were watching him. Oh no. Right off the bat. While you're in here, get out your evil bell. As Otto listened closely, he could hear the faint sound of footsteps in the distance. You will see that thing show up. Now what is that thing? I do not know. But I do know one thing. You want to use your altar magic now and go in here. Several days ago, I saw a human boy being led to the poison-filled passage by demons. I hope he's okay. Yeah, I do too. Can't say I've seen you around before. Your name's Adol? Not here. It isn't. Here, your name is Adru. It's the law. Well, you know what they say. Gauntlets, if they aren't made from... That's radical. Yeah, you can rest here. And I should also mention... Before now, you could only use your return magic to return to Land's Village. Now you can use your return magic... to return to here as well. Let's switch back to Ador. And then you want to talk to the goddess statue. This is really... So yeah, you can now use return magic to return to the Ruse Den. Next up, what you want to do is... Well, by the end of this dungeon, you want to be level 28. Trust me on that one. You're going to need about 10k, 11k for your uh, money. Go over here and grab the iron ore. So, next thing you want to do. Always remember to use the spirit cape if you feel like you're in danger. Again, this dungeon is nothing really difficult, though. But I mean, even... Even I make mistakes on occasion, as seen in the Ice Ridge of Noltea. Yeah, sorry about the quality of the last video. I was just really fed up with the dungeon. Probably is an excuse for my behavior. But... I mean, it is what it is. Alright, so, just heal up a little bit. Oh boy, that's not good. Luckily I didn't die there. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
All right, so with that, we are back in the moat of... We are at the area we need to be. One thing I want to do real quick, though, is... Just get myself up a level real quick. And I will meet you guys... Well, I mean, I'm not going to meet because I was a pretty quick level up, but... So now we're in the colony of lava. First thing you want to do, talk to everyone. I'm not the one, I'm sorry. By the way, you might notice something a little bit different on screen. I kind of added a, uh, a, uh, mascot. And Lilia is the mascot because Lilia is the best. And because we're not going to see Lilia for a while, I thought I would just make her our mascot for a bit. Um, I'm what? Still missing some weird. Oh, there's one. Yeah, well, I guess so. Well, that's good to know the bridge is broken. Oh well. Let's see, what else am I looking for? There's got to be something I'm looking for around here. Okay. So talk to him as a Rue, and then... I'm sorry, this part is not coming out really well. Red-haired swordsman by the name of Adel will come here through soon. Do not let him cross the bridge. Just do as you're told, and your son will be returned unharmed. Yeah. I will bring your son back. Receive the whisper earrings. That is important. She's on her way to ski. So, oh yeah, I haven't been in this house yet, I don't think. Let's just make sure everything is up to date while I'm in here. Missing one person. I wonder who it is. It's not the Pickard. Uh, 
Uh, teleport back to Lance Village. And then we will buy... Sell this for 3,000. And then we will buy armor. We'll buy the plate mail. Nothing else we want right now. Cool. Teleport back to the ruse nest. Rest of the ruse nest. Just run back into Edel, and then we are going to. We'll make sure you equip the. Uh, Defense plate, so you know you're not like getting too murdered. Oh, yeah, saving is never a bad idea. Keep that up. I don't know who I could have missed there. I'll figure it out in a bit, though. here now. And make sure you get... Okay, in here... Go to item and equip the rota leaf. Or ruta, I don't know how it's pronounced exactly. Don't wanna go that way, I wanna go, I believe. This way, yeah. Up here, there we go. These fire monsters will give you a lot of each, I mean EXP, so I do recommend grinding on them, but first take this black pearl. I'll meet you guys back in the next room over. All right, we are finally back after a single day of not doing anything because I had an issue show up. <laughs> so, let us just continue this. I know we're exactly ready to go now. So go in here and take the with the ear thingies, and then you go to this guy, and he's all like, Is somebody there? Yep, it's me. Hey! I'm Torf, are you here to rescue me? Hell yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can knock it down. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, I have a black pearl. That's why I got it. You got it, radical.
Yeah, no problem. Hey, you out there. Yeah. Get back. Okay. Yep, he's gone. So, I said I mentioned something. This was who I was missing in the log, I believe. I went over the uh, notes during the last 24 hours of recording, and yeah, it turns out I was missing Tarf. So yeah, I believe if I... Yeah, I'll definitely escort you back home. Hooray, escort mission. Am I not missing Tarf? Oh, yeah, there we are. Cool, I just talked to him. <laughs> so yeah, that's who I was missing the whole time. Really stupid. I kind of liked an East one where it was like much more organized and stuff. And that's probably my biggest problem with this game is that it's a lot less organized when it comes to notes and stuff. Like seriously, go to the Monster Boo Guide. And yeah, see, it looks like I'm still missing stuff here as well, though I don't really think it's all that important with monsters. You don't get anything for completing monsters like you do with, like... I mean, really, you only get, like, achievements for talking to all the characters. And, at the end of the day, I'm not really the biggest achievement hunter. I mean, if you're into that thing, good for you. That's it to your... You, you do you. I just don't enjoy it all that much. I just prefer to, like, play through games. My goal really here is to show you where all the items are and stuff like that. Let us go in here. Again, another really easy escort mission. Just kind of like the one in the first game. Except Tarf doesn't get on my nerves nearly as much as Fina does. Yep, he still runs at like, really slow speed, and that's kind of annoying, I guess. <laughs> Radical. I think we got him back here, though. Back at the Colony of Lava. Father and Son Reunion. I know someone who needs a father and son reunion. You better be watching this. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry too. So you got 900 experience for that. So first thing you want to do though is take the uh, return magic and go back to uh, go back to Lance Village because you can. I don't think we have bought the. Uh, I don't think I've bought the. I may have done it off screen, but I don't think I did. I don't tend to do kind of stuff like this off screen. But, let's see, maybe I did. But you want to go to Lance Village, buy your, uh, and buy yourself some, uh, plate mail. Did I not buy plate mail? Maybe I already did. Maybe I already did. Oh, wait, no, I bought, I didn't buy, I bought the small shield. I already bought the plate mail. I did not buy the small shield. But 
a lot of chewing. And that's not what I want. Oh, it's been two different recordings. Okay. Well, now that I got that, definitely make sure you buy this plate, this large shield, because you are going to fail against the boss if you do not do that. And that'll be really bad. And what we're facing is considered by some to be the hardest boss in the game. I don't know. I'm going to go grab some stuff in the fields real quick. And then grab some herbs. I will meet you guys back in the uh, And the uh, lava colony. Alright, so back in the colony of lava, equip your consumables. And I think it is... Yeah, it's Nash you want to talk to. And then you want to talk to Nash. believe. Yeah, it's Nash you want to talk to. Cool. You'll get them raw meat. This is a really good item right here. This will heal all your health. I'm going to recommend you hold on to that for now. We're going to need that maybe coming up. Maybe. Depends on my body. Yeah, those are three rings, I believe. I don't remember where exactly, since I haven't definitely done all of my research yet. But I know you need them again at some point. Oh, I know. I remember where. I remember where. But I'm not worried about that right now. That's a bit of ways off. Maybe two or three videos from now. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. There's that chest over there. Get that chest. Get that chest. You're going to want that chest. I think you're going to want that chest. I think it's important that you get that chest. Every bit helps. Yeah. Cool. Almost done here. Alright, we are right outside the boss, so make sure. <laughs> You save here. This is, by many, despite the fact I have called the Moat of Burned Bliss the easiest dungeon in the game, by some of my friends, this is considered the hardest boss in the game. So yeah, make sure you're saved up, make sure you're healed up, and make sure you have the fire magic equipped. And I recommend equipping the Clarion Ring for this boss. If it's anything else, make sure your equipment's like this. Because we're about to face, without a doubt, Nightmare Fuel the Boss, g -Lotti. Now, while some people consider this the hardest boss in the game, I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's a bit weird. My only advice is don't go down there. Don't, don't like get onto like the bridge area between the entrance of the boss and um, where you are right now. Don't go there, because that's basically a death sentence. If you don't do that, you should do just fine. Just, yeah, try, because that's what he's gonna try and do is corner you there. I think he's like, actually like programmed to like, get you down there. The 
corner you in down there, so you want to avoid that. That's basically an automatic loss, that's all I'm really going to say. Keep your meat pie equipped, I guess. Is it really not hitting him? Okay, I'm not doing good. I'm messing up, sorry. Got him. Cool. Yeah, so it's just basically getting him into the right spot. Sometimes, if you hit him right, you can actually get that thing. You can actually hit him before that worm thingy goes into his mouth. This is where I think he's going to introduce the enemy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so just try and keep up. Kind of just ignore the enemy. It's not really going to be much of a big deal if you don't hit it. Oh, boy. I think I'm about to do it. I think I'm about to pull off something I really want to pull off. Oh, my God. Please tell me. Please tell me I'm about to pull this thing off. Go on, go on. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Damn it. Okay. I think I'm getting kind of excited here, so my number one advice is don't get excited ever. <laughs> I was like, oh shoot. Got it! Oh my god, and I beat him without taking damage too. That should unlock something, I think. Really cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the hardest boss in the game. And I did it without taking any damage. Oh my god. Let me see. Did I get it? Oh my god. Oh my god, let me see. I should have gotten something for that. I think that's like an award. Reward for that. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Alright, we are at the end of the dungeon. Welcome to Romani Village. Ramia Village. Ramia Village. Ramia Village. Ramia Village. Ramia Village. Next time on Let's Play East 1. Well, first I want to say something. Yeah, let's go to Display. I haven't shown this off yet, but you got these things called mascots. And I think because I beat the boss without taking any damage, I got something for that. Yep, Photogenic Lily, I think is what you get for that. You get photogenic lily over beating a boss without taking any damage. Oh my god, that is so good. I am so happy right now. I'm keeping that. Alright, next time on Let's Play East 2, we shall explore Ramia Village. And I shall get everything we need before we head into the final dungeon of the game. See you guys then.